Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to merge multiple sheets while uploading data in Power Query. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So I am in Power Query editor and let me show you my spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet and we have a tab called by and here you can see you will find the cells data for bike bikes and here we have our sales data for accessories and here we have a sales data for components so i want to merge all these three sheets into a one so now let me go to the power query editor and in power query editor i will load the data i'll say new source excel workbook so i will select a data And here you can see accessories, here you can see bikes data and here you can see the component data. If I will select these three sheet like that and if I will click on OK button, you will see three different tables or three different sheets are loaded in Power Query. But I don't want like this. I want one sheet with the combination of all this three data so let me delete this and i will say delete and now i will select again workbook and select data open you have to directly click on the data workbook and right click here and click on transform data so now here you can see my all three sheets are loaded bike accessories and components now i will select this data column and i will right click here and i will say remove other column so i have only single column that is a data col column now here you can see one arrow now just click on this and click ok so now you can see here so bikes and accessories and components data is merged into a one here we can you can see the column problems so what we are going to do here we will use this use first row as a header we'll just click and you can see the columns customer business segment category and so on now there is a one more problem here now here you can see customer because each sheet has a heading so that also merge customer and here also you can see the customer business segment category model column heading here also so what i am going to do i will just remove customer from the filter and click ok now this data is completely clean and you can see the bikes you can see the accessory cells and you can see the component cells that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching